start again. <laughs> Good evening. We're here to introduce to you Vespa theory. Oh no, can I say Vespa theory? Vesepa. No, Vesepa theory, which is valence shell electron pair repulsion theory, which is where pairs of electrons repel each other to get as far apart as possible. Here we have six pairs of electrons, like in SF6. The electrons are repelling each other, and it's a octahedral space. Then if you pop one... You can do it. There are five left. Like in PCL5, which is a trigonal pyramidal. Oh, okay, then if you pop another one, there are four left, and that's like the other way. Tetrahedral shape, as in CH4 or SIH4. And there's a 109.5 um, degree. Right, do I pop another? Ooh. Now there are three left. And this is a trigonal planar, as in BF3, with 120 degrees. Now there are two left, as in BCL2, and this is a linear shape. Oh, with 180 degrees. Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, depending on where you are in the world right now. Here we have an example of a molecule like ammonia, which is NN3, and here we have a lone pair, which is repelling these bonding pairs, because lone pairs repel more, repel more than bonding pairs. This decreases the angle to 107 down here, and I think that's about all I have to cover. And the shape is called... Oh, and the shape is called... A trigonal pyramid. <laughs> this is the water molecule. It has two lone pairs and two bonded. Bonded pairs, yes. The reason the shape is like this is because the lone pairs repel the electrons more than the bonded pairs. And so, where you should have a 190 degree angle, it has a 104.5 degree angle. Because the lone pairs repel the electrons more. The shape is called? The shape is called bent. <laughs> Good night, everybody! Okay. <laughs>